Hello, Fast and Furious fans! This tenth chapter of the franchise has left us with more questions than answers, and today, we're going to explore them together. Fast X, led by our beloved Dominic Toretto, sets the stage for the grand finale, Fast and Furious 11. But did you catch all the hidden clues in Fast X? Director Louis Letterier has teased that there are five key scenes with hidden clues, and while he's only revealed one, we found quite a few more. So buckle up, because we're about to take a high-speed journey through the seven Fast X scenes that hint at where Fast and Furious 11 is headed. And trust me, you won't want to miss this. All right, now without further ado, let's get into the video. Charles Theron's notorious character Cypher from the Fast Saga surprisingly turns into an unlikely companion for Dom and his crew when she appears at his doorstep, barely escaping Dante's grasp. The moment where Cypher forms a temporary alliance with Dom and his spouse, Letty, is highlighted by director Letterier as a scene packed with subtle hints about the future trajectory of the Fast Saga. Considering Cypher's past filled with causing turmoil for Dom and his crew, this could suggest several potential plot twists for Fast and Furious 11. Despite having Dante as a common enemy, You might want to explain why you're here. I'm here because the enemy of my enemy is you. Cypher's trustworthiness remains questionable. Letty, who instigates their combat scene at the Arctic Black site later in the film, is evidently not ready to place her trust in Cypher for the long haul, and the feeling is mutual from Cypher's end. This could imply that the alliance between Cypher and Dom's crew might completely go off the rails in Fast and Furious 11, leading to either Cypher double-crossing them or both parties turning into adversaries once again through some other circumstances. While Fast X's main storyline unfolds, it simultaneously sparks curiosity about Mia's role in Fast and Furious 11, as well as her husband's. Following the unfortunate demise of Paul Walker in 2013, Brian O'Connor bid farewell to the Fast Saga in Furious 7. Dom and his crew decided that Brian and Mia's expanding family life should take precedence. However, Mia made a surprising comeback in F9 to assist the team, with Brian staying back to care for little B, while Mia might be gearing up for action in Fast and Furious 11. Brian's much-needed return could pose a significant risk, thereby presenting one of the biggest hurdles Fast and Furious 11 needs to overcome. As the Fast and Furious series continues to veer away from reality, a fan theory has gained traction suggesting that time travel might be the next big twist. While Fast X doesn't confirm this, Tage subtly hints at it during a scene in an internet cafe in London with Ramsey and Roman. Baffled by the cafe's outdated tech, Tage quips, Did I just time travel? Wait a second, did we just time travel? Possibly breaking the fourth wall to hint at time travel in Fast and Furious 11. What makes this line from Tage especially captivating is that he and Ramsey are the most likely candidates within Dom's crew to devise a time travel mechanism. Known for their tech prowess in the Fast Saga, Tage and Ramsey stand out as the tech gurus of Dom's team. The fact that Tage, with Ramsey nearby, mentions time travel in Fast X could suggest that they're already contemplating how to fine-tune Doc Brown's time-traveling DeLorean for Dom and the crew. I set him! Into the future. In the thrilling climax of Fast X, as Dom relentlessly pursues Dante to the dam, an unexpected twist unfolds. Ames is unveiled as Dante's accomplice, and he shoots down the cargo plane carrying Tage, Ramsey, Han, and Roman. The plane crashes off-screen, but naturally, it's hard to accept off-screen fatalities of Dom's family as a real threat. The burning question is how Tage, Ramsey, Han, and Roman manage to survive the crash. The scene of the plane crash doesn't depict any of them parachuting to safety. However, it's plausible that the Fast family could plan and organize something carefully and escape by driving a car out of the cargo ramp. The mystery then shifts to how they will regroup with Dom and assist him post-crash. This could form a crucial plot point in Fast and Furious 11, with the film deliberately fragmenting Dom's crew as part of Dante's divide and conquer strategy. In the heart-pounding chase scene in Fast X's final act, Jacob Toretto takes a heroic leap of faith, deliberately crashing his vehicle into those of Dante's henchmen. Despite the massive explosion resulting from the crash, no death in the Fast and Furious universe can be accepted without question, especially considering Han's death under eerily similar circumstances. 
This opens up the intriguing possibility of Jacob Toretto still making a comeback to aid Dom and his crew in Fast and Furious 11. However, Jacob's supposed death occurs so rapidly that it would pose a challenge for even the Fast Saga to devise a somewhat believable explanation for his timely escape from the explosion. It's possible that Jacob Toretto might be one of the rare Fast and Furious heroes to actually meet his end, and the truth of his death could be revealed in Fast and Furious 11. Naturally, this would present a dramatic twist for Fast and Furious 11. Dominic Toretto is arguably one of the most invincible heroes in action movie history. Yet, even he encounters a unique problem in the cliffhanger ending of Fast X after maneuvering his car down a dam to evade two exploding semi-trucks. Dom and Little B find themselves directly in the path of a collapsing dam, courtesy of Dante's rigged explosives. Needless to say, this will play a significant role in the opening of Fast X. Despite Dom's near immortality, it's highly unlikely that Fast and Furious 11 will begin with the demise of both him and his son within the first few minutes. However, Dom and Little B face a daunting task. They must reach safety before the dam collapses entirely and a tidal wave engulfs them. Their escape could involve an unexpected ally swooping in for the rescue, which might provide a clue about the direction Fast and Furious 11 will take. Gazelle Yashar was seemingly killed off in 2013's Fast and Furious 6. However, as previously mentioned, death in the Fast and Furious universe is as fleeting as gravity, Gazelle Yashar making a surprising comeback in the finale of Fast X. Gazelle's death in Fast and Furious 6 involved her falling from a speeding cargo plane on a runway, an event that would realistically have been fatal. Yet, she reappears unscathed in Fast X, clearly indicating her significant role in Fast and Furious 11. Gazelle's return closely follows the comeback of her boyfriend Han in F9, who was also presumed dead for years following Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Gazelle's reunion with Han is likely to be a central plot point in Fast and Furious 11, though it may not be entirely cordial. Given that Gazelle might have faked her death in Fast and Furious 6, similar to Han, there could be some resentment between the two for allowing the other to believe they were dead for so long. This could play a key role in how Fast X sets the stage for their storyline in Fast and Furious 11. What are your thoughts on these hidden clues? Are you excited for Fast and Furious 11? Which clues intrigued you the most or least? Share your thoughts in the comments section about these hidden teasers in Fast X. And remember, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Can't wait to see you all in another thrilling video. Until then, take care and goodbye.